And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Rocket Squad. You ever build a rocket in your backyard out of cardboard boxes? Well, I did, and I built forts and houses. I never thought about a rocket, but it's a great idea. And that's what you're doing. This is a game definitely aimed at kids from Ultra Pro, where you're trying to build four different rockets and send them off to the moon, or the fake moon, without having your neighbors and parents annoy you. Here's how it plays. is very simple. You're going to have four launch pads per player, so blue, yellow, red, and green. Each player is going to draw a hand of four cards here, and on your turn, you can play as many cards from your hand as you want to, and then you'll draw back up to four. Now, many of the cards are rocket boosters, so once you play one of these here, you've kind of said, all right, this is, um, you play the yellow on the yellow spot. You can only have one rocket of each color. After that, though, you just play cards like this. <laughs> building them down. So I have three boxes there. To launch this rocket, I'm going to need six boxes there. Once that happens, I launch the rocket. I'll take this to show that I'm going to get six points. And then I turn this over to show that the yellow rocket has launched. That's pretty much it. Also, every time you launch a rocket, you'll draw a moon token and keep it. And these are going to be one or two points. Uh, there's also cards you can play in your turn. Many of the cards have two sides. So for example here, I can put this next to my rocket. This can't be targeted by orange ones, my imaginary friend. Here you put this on a rocket, they can't build there. Take three boxes off an opponent's rocket and discard them. Then there's gray ones that you can play. There's a mom and a dad card where you can stop the things that people do here, you can discard your hand, draw four more cards, take two boxes and build them immediately on one of your rockets. So you can play these cards also. So you're just going to kind of play out your whole hand usually, build your rockets, and players are going to keep going as they launch their rockets. So players are going to continue to do this until players have, one player has launched all four rockets. After they have launched all four rockets, each other player is going to get one last turn to try to launch any of their rockets. And then you're going to reveal that your moon rocks. You're going to reveal any of the boosters that you have launched and get points for those. And whoever has the most points is the winner. If there's a tie, whoever has launched the tallest rocket is the winner. Card quality for this game is really good. I mean, these are nice linen finished cards. They're easy to tell apart. Also, if for the, each color, you'll notice that there is uh, kind of a symbol on them to differentiate it, especially matters between green and red. So that's good. We got the funny little cartoons. There's dad and mom. There's uncle and ace. You know, it's just, it's good. It's good quality. And I also like the, I especially like when the rocket launches, you know, that it's, here's the, where it goes. And it's what it looks like. And then, of course, even the boxes themselves, as you put them on top of each other, the whole thing just looks really good. This is not a game that adults are going to really want to play. I can't imagine that at all. It says on the box here that it is for two to five players, ages eight plus. I really think you could play even with younger than that, but realize there is a little bit to take that in the game. You know, there's a couple cards that can blow your boxes up, but there's also cards that stop those. So that's kind of neat. But the game itself is fairly simple. Pick a rocket. Do you want to pick rockets with big numbers? You'll get more points, but they'll take longer to build. And while you're building them, you leave them open for other people to knock them down. You want to build a bunch of small rockets. You might get them launched, and then you get those moon points and end the game before someone can finish their big one. Most games of this I played, when someone finished all four rockets, then there might be someone who didn't finish one rocket, but I never saw someone not finish two of their rockets. And the games came out pretty close in points, which makes kids happy. Kids also like the whole mom, dad, grandma, imaginary friends showing up, and the back and forth. So it's kind of a take that game, but it feels a little bit different to me than many of the games that are made for kids this way. See, whenever I play games with kids, I think a couple things. One, are you having fun playing the game? And this game provides that for them. But two, does this game teach skills and things that might be used in life and or other games? And this one has the whole cards can be used in two ways. You can use the card for what it is. There's even the action cards are split into two parts. Which one do you want to use? Or you can flip a card over and use it as a box. This is not a complex thing, particularly in this game, but it definitely is something that can be done really easily um, 
uh, but it feels like some good solid choices for kids and it allows the kids to think ahead and again not a complex thing but it's kind of a building block to bigger uh, games with more decisions so this one has a little bit more to it than meets the eye and I think kids will have fun and if you're an adult playing with them it's not going to drive you that crazy either although like I said definitely aimed for the younger set that's Rocket Squad. Dice Tower Judgment approved for kids! Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.